you want to start out with anything? Mr. Chairman, I met with Larry and Mark this morning. <clears throat> I have recommended final drafts for the county wind orders. They have some things marked in red, and Larry, to be honest with you, I haven't had an opportunity to read those yet, but I will. I also have your recommendations you have made. I have a Sue uh, his response to some, I'm not sure all, but to some of those requests of changes. My comment is how do you wish to have these handled in the limit of two weeks so that it can be voted on? Are these, do we ignore these, accept yours because the community has had an opportunity to have their input? Or or how? I just I just want to know how we're going to proceed. I don't want to ignore any particular group or you. I think they're all maybe legitimate. I don't want to put these recommendation aside. But I guess how are we going to put these? Are we going <clears> to <throat> make these changes? And if so. When and how? Okay. And if you can help me on that, I certainly All right. appreciate here, that. Here was a thought that I had. As you as you said, I sent you some of my some of my ideas, right. and I'm hoping you both have ideas also. Okay. As a, for instance, if you if you take this one mm -hmm. under page three B one A. Replace one quarter mile with at least one half mile. The rationale is the site plan needs to expand and show everything with it, with it, within at least one half mile of each tower. I guess my thought, uh, Commissioner Rethlake, was to simply take that item and and vote on that item, whether whether you want it in or you want it out, and we could do the exact same things, I suppose, with. With Mr. Manier and Mark, I, I didn't mean to be short with you last night, oh, absolutely. but man, I get that the night before our meeting. I know. You know okay, mm -hmm. just so you understand, that they accuse us of doing things, bang bang. So, so it was a little. When I first saw it, I'm thinking, oh, come on, Mark, we've we we've, we've dealt with these issues. At least I thought we had. But we can go back to to Mr. Manier's thoughts or, or their thoughts also uh, as well as anyone from the from the pro community but I, I guess my thoughts were I or nay to each of these items on my list and move on to the next list I, I guess that's what my thoughts were so and let's just quickly review David just quickly review for us what our <coughs> options are as commissioners Okay. Um, one more time. One more time. Yeah. Right. Um, any changes that you would make to the ordinance as recommended for approval by the plan commission? Any changes that would, would be made would have to be sent back to the commission. Okay. So, so option one is we can change what we got. Certainly. Okay. 
certainly. Right. You can approve it as presented. Okay, option two, we take draft that we got and right. we just say, yeah, we like it, that's it. That's right. Okay. And it, it then becomes ordinance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, the third option is, I suppose, you could reject the whole thing. Oh, okay. 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 That, that would be an amendment or a rejection. Okay. And if that happens, then that would go back to the Planning Commission. Okay. Either way, any changes or rejection goes back to the Commission. The yep. Commission then has 45 days to give that their consideration. Right. Um, if and when it would come back to you, you would have to re-vote on it. Sure. To approve it. Sure. With sure. those changes. Sure. Then would there not be the fourth option, and that is do nothing. And we do nothing, then it, it becomes law in the 90 days. Yes. Because I see, yes. Re, I see rejecting it different than not doing anything. Correct. So, so, so that's our four options. We can change it. We can adopt it. We can reject it. We can do nothing. Sure. Okay. So just so we know, that's our that's our four options. So. I guess I have a, a little bit of a concern here. Is okay. I just got Mark's uh, information last night too, and I truly haven't had time to go over. Understand. And understand. Um, I guess by going over your proposed changes or all of our proposed changes before we truly look at this and give it more thought. Okay. I, I mean, we, we've already been through this. I don't know how many times, and, and you know, I I, I kind yeah. of agree with something Don said. Also, is you know, we can keep going over this and over this and over this. And then we're never going to make it perfect. It's, it's never going to be perfect. But uh, um, I guess my thought is, do we do we rush this? I mean, we've been this far. Do we rush it, or do we do we take a look at this first and then um, the next meeting? We can and I agree, and I agree, but what if Mark changes his mind on Sunday night, June the 3rd, or Larry, or Joanne, or Stanley, or Mr. Sickafoos, or you know what I'm saying? So, so I, where, I understand. where I understand. are we going to draw a line? And again, Mark, I didn't mean to be sound so nasty last night, it's just that I'm going holy catfish. I'm thinking yeah. we have this thing put to bed. No, I, so. didn't, I didn't take it that way. And I, I think oh. that uh, most of that, I think that we're in agreement on a lot of those issues in there. It may just be more wording of certain things. Is the, yeah. the highlights of it, I think, you know, and, and the, happen. Well, I've had three main inputs of changes. That was from you. That was from Henry. It's your suggestions. And I'm from Don. If if we're going to take this, <coughs> excuse, me. excuse. Me. If we're going to take this, and if we're going to look at it, I understand what George is saying. I understand where you're coming from. We draw the line in the sand today, and say we are accepting no more. All the changes have had time to come in, but we're not going to do it. And if I get any. Throw them over my right shoulder and over my left shoulder and hope they hit the ground. Because I think this is, if, if we keep going, we're going to have, until Christmas Day, people making a change, if nothing more, yeah, to we delay can't. it. We can't. No. We can't. To be fair to the plan commission, let's get moving with it. This is our ordinance. We're with the county. Sorry, you've had input. And, and let's go. And I agree with what you said. Mark called you last night, and I met, I met with him today. I forget when you called me, maybe yesterday, maybe Saturday. Uh, but I got this today, and there are several things in there that I want to read and compare. And I think to be fair with Dave, and he gave a reply to yours, but I would take it. Uh, 
that this is your final? This I, is your I am final? there now. Okay. I am there. I, no, no, you do. You, it, the one in red, though, is I sent you the, okay, that one. That one is final right there. That's this one? Final. That's final. Okay. Yep, that's final. And what the yellow, what the yellow indicates is that I've talked to Dave about those items. Okay. And therefore, we don't need to deal with those items. Okay. okay? That's what that yellow we'll should that indicate is. Right. is for just that first one, that third where I asked. Dave yeah. says, that's not really a part of the ordinance. So we don't need that thing right. in there. So I think my thoughts are pretty much based on the ordinance items themselves. All right. The one place but that's that, what yeah. I would think that maybe we should we got to get moved. We'll be accused of doing nothing. We've done our thing. We did nothing. So it passes. Yeah, well, that's just not a legacy we want to live with. No. Or we're afraid to take a vote. No. Yeah, no, no. no. That's None of the three of us are afraid it. to take a stand. Want to I know we're sure not. we have something that's going to be an ordinance we can live with. Uh, well, I, I guess one of the situations we could do is, is go through Don's and, and um, Dave's changes or explanations, and then next, we're not going to do it, make a vote anyway today. Next time we come, that'll give us time to read Mark's. Mm -hmm. um, sure changes sure. or proposed changes and that sure. way we can keep this thing going. And I got a feeling that Mark's changes, and I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if Mark's ever seen my changes, but I got a feeling that they're going to be not too far off from each other. Okay. We both read the draft. We both saw things that we, that we changed. Might be off, you know, a little bit, but. Um, so could we go through your proposed I'd be, changes? I'd be more than happy to take you through mine, and if you don't want to vote on it today, that's fine with me. But but I feel like these are items that I'd like to see out on the out on the table. So uh, when I say page three, I am in, I am referring to the document that was sent to the commissioners from the um, planning commission. So when I say page three, I'd be referring to this document here that was uh, sent to us. So. Page three, <coughs> the uh, you and I got to find it now. Section B, one uh, A, and it, it talks about. Each, each tower and or structure should be assigned a unique identification number on the site plan. In addition, the site plan shall show property structures within one quarter mile of any WEX, and, I, and I'm just asking that to be changed to half a mile so we get a better idea of, of how many structures are literally around each, each uh, tower. So that's, that's all that amounts to. Uh, page four. Section C, financial assurance. I just I wanted to add the word at the end of the paragraph, including road and or bridge repair. Then it should read, for each wind energy system, the applicant slash owner slash operator shall determine an amount of money equal to the estimated removal and restoration cost, and then including road and or bridge repairs. Uh, the next item I had was page 4, C3, in which we talked about putting money in escrow for decommissioning. The concern was, could a bankruptcy court take that money, and Dan Sigler says, absolutely not, cannot happen. That's, that's our money. Uh, if that company that put the money in escrow went bankrupt, it doesn't make any difference. That's our money. They've given us that money. So that kind of becomes a non-issue. On page eight, uh, 
I, I just asked to change the fine. I think a thousand dollar fine is is just not enough. I think that that it might be easy just to blow that off at a thousand dollars, and I've asked I've asked to make that five thousand dollars instead. That's in the transportation plan. Page is that? Page eight, oh, I don't and it's a eight wex o two a seven. On page nine, and this is something that, that I didn't really think about. I, I had someone very smart um, mention this to me. I appreciate it. Uh, we said that we would allow a thousand foot setback for the participants. Here we are then trying to protect non-participants. All this stuff we're doing, we're trying to protect non-participants. So, if it's true, and, and I believe it is true, that you can have ice throw over a thousand feet, why in the world are we not protecting the participants? I don't, I don't understand that part. I really think, and this is starting here, my, my thoughts are to start now doing away with a number of feet and changing to an X times tower height because tower height is going to change, I'm guessing, as, as time goes on. May go up, may go down, not sure, but I think tower height might change. So on page 9, section E2, where it says a thousand foot setback for participants, I would like to change that to at least four times the tower height due to possible ice throw. Additionally, this would pertain to dedicated roadways, railroad right of way, overhead electrical and distribution lines. I just think it's a, I think it's a safety thing. Um, Non-participating setbacks need to be changed to a multiplier as well, not, not distance. I would like to see the setback for non-participants at 6.5 times the tower height. And no waiver should be issued that would allow a tower less than four times the height of the tower from a building to protect against ice throw. Also on page 9, section B4, strike the words between WEX towers. On page 10, replace uh, 1.1 1 .1 with 1,300 foot or four times the tower height. I would prefer the four times the tower height. Uh, page 10, 4. Page 10, 4. Change it to four times the tower height. Uh, WEX 03B3A, that, that was just simply a, a, a typo. They put in of, it should have been or. That's, that'll be taken care of. That doesn't really require anything. Um, I did ask that in 3B, however, the word unreasonably be, be uh, removed. And also on page 11, WEX 03B4, um, I'd like to strike the words, if requested. Yep, I'm looking here, Sunshine. On page 10, on page 11, WEX 3B4. Okay, it's very top, very top of third sentence now. The project area, a, a copy of the as-built site map in digital format if requested. Just strike the if requested. On page 18, uh, they talk about the WEX Transportation Committee and that, that was well done but I just think EMS should be added to that committee if we're going to talk about roads and, and, and what's going to be shut down today, 
amongst the people that need to be involved. I think EMS needs to be involved in that as well. Even though they do share the same dispatcher currently with the fire department.